hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a relaxing one I'm just wearing my little old v-neck target t-shirt nothing fancy on I just want to play with some makeup recently I placed an order on yes style and yes style is similar to Estalvana and you can get Korean brands there so today it's gonna be a full face of Korean makeup the only thing I didn't have that was Korean was my eyebrows I've already done that I have my um, skincare and yeah so we're gonna start with the makeup so this foundation has been going viral I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere and I debated whether I should use that one or this one. This is by Misha. And this is a Shoba Young BB Cream. And I haven't seen this one really shown anywhere. This has a SPF 30. And this one does not have SPF as far as I can tell. And then anyways, this one is supposed to be more mature skin friendly than the other one that they have, the other Misha, which I absolutely love. So I think today I'm going to use this one because this one, I'm, you guys have probably seen it a thousand times. I will use it in a future video and I must tell you that I used it yesterday and my makeup looked beautiful and it stayed looking beautiful after 12 hours until I washed it off. So this worked really, really well on my skin. But I'm really curious about this one. And um, I must say that I just changed my mind just, like just now because my intentions were to use the other one. But I want to try this one because this one would be new. I know what the other Misha BB cream is like. So I want to see what this one is like. This is in the shade 23, which is the same shade that I have in the other one. And this is um, a thick foundation. It is very neutral, which I absolutely love. And the other one, the, the uh, Turter, is a, that one is a cushion foundation. But yeah, I, I really was going to wear the other one, but all of a sudden I decided, why not use this one? This one is like, I've never seen anybody review it. And I will use the other one on my next video that I do uh, full face makeup, which I do pretty often so how has everybody been i actually had i think in my last video i mentioned to you guys that i had a lot of trouble with my camera i don't know what happened i really don't mess with my camera because it's like it works the way it is so i'm of the total belief if it's not broken don't fix it but somehow in the middle of my doing a video it's like the picture I noticed on my monitor that it was like overexposed. I mean, it was like my face was white. You really couldn't tell anything. So I had to mess with it a little bit until I was able to get it to work right. It's still not in the settings that I had it to begin with. But hey, it is working. So I'm leaving it alone. But anyways, I had a favorites video already filmed. And that, that video, I went ahead and I erased it. It was a mess. That was the, <laughs> my camera got me so bent out of shape that I put, forgot to put lipstick on. And on one video, the one that the Ilya video, I actually went ahead and did a little clip that I added to it. When I noticed when I was filming, I mean, when I was editing, I added lipstick but then when I went to go edit the favorites I didn't have any lipstick on and I looked like I was not feeling well so I ditched that and I'm gonna do my favorites when I'm done here so this is like a this is a BB cream but like the other Misha BB cream this has excellent excellent coverage I would say it's a really really medium good medium coverage I'm gonna try to build it a little bit on my cheeks and a little bit more on my chin I didn't seem to put a lot just to see if I can cover up my hyperpigmentation a little more and I'm using the BK Beauty 109 I love this little foundation brush I think it's so great so as you can see, it does a great job of covering. 
And this one has quite a few, not a lot, okay? This baby cream doesn't have like a humongous number of shades, but it does have a few more than the regular Misha that comes in the red packaging. But I've heard this one is supposed to be really excellent for mature skin. Uh, it really doesn't tell you much on here. A, a lot of what's back here is in Korean. So it's N23 is natural beige. But, and you get 50 mLs, which is 1.69 fluid ounces. And this was not very expensive. I think it was like $17. But for over an ounce, I think that's pretty good. That's more than we get with most of our foundations. So I had a hard time finding a concealer. Um, most concealers only have like three shades. Light, lightest, no, light, lighter, and lightest. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, you can't get a concealer that is much darker than that so i had a hard time i found one that it works okay it's a little light for me a little lighter than i like yes they call it it's by judy doll and it's called the traceless cloud touch so this is it it's a glass container and they only have like i said three shades this is the darkest of the three shades this one they called yellow which i was very afraid of getting it but it's not yellow but I guess that's how they call the latest, the darkest shade on there. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit because it's like a little watery. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my cream blush. And this is by Judy Doll also, and it's a multi cream. So it comes in this cute little package. It's really, really adorable. That's the shade. Again, it's so hard to pick those shades sometimes when you pick one of these shades you can even tell what color you're picking because they don't really give you like a lot of information so i just went with okay well i know it's not going to be super dark because it seems like korean and japanese brands they cater more to lighter skin tones because you guys know that there are lighter skin tones than we are so this is pretty though it looks really really pretty i think my light is way too bright and it's washing me out let me go fix that real quick okay i think that's better i'm sorry i don't seem to have my act together today but hey it's real life so as you can see it's pretty but it's not over the top you can build it up which i think is nice it's nice that you can actually build it up or you know wear it you know lighter if you want to I'm gonna do the concealer now and the concealer is actually decent coverage and even though it's probably a little lighter than I would normally go for I think it looks okay it doesn't my eye under eyes don't look super bright which I don't like that I'd rather go just a little bit lighter than my foundation but not a lot so that did a pretty good job can still see my dark circle so holy moly how do i get rid of those maybe by getting some sleep how do i how do i manage that okay so let me take my a little more of the blush it's really pretty i'm going to swatch it for you it's almost like a pink a neutral pink with a little bit of brown in it um I can I'm going to link everything below but everything back here is in Korean the only thing that is not in Korean is Judy doll but the name the shade everything let me see the box did the box say something um, it says multi cream 04 so this is number 04 so I'm gonna leave it in the box so that it's easier for me to link okay this is the palette and this is also by Judy doll actually this brand has a lot of pretty makeup so if you guys uh, go on Yes Style, and I believe they also have it on Stylevana, you can find a lot of pretty makeup here. And look how beautiful the palette is. And this was like $11. I think the most expensive products were this right here, 
the Misha, and this. This is the only things that were over $10. Everything else was under $10 that I'm going to be showing you. And they had a lot of options, but I love this. It does have a pretty mirror. This is substantial. It's like an acrylic, and it's really beautiful. And this is what the color story, which I thought it was very pretty. It's like a cool tone. And it tells you, I guess, how to apply how to apply it but I'm gonna do it how I want to <laughs> so I'm going to take a fluffy brush I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm going to go into the darker color right here and this is just number four and let me see the palette is number two so they did have different options, but this is the one that I picked. Oh, I went way too high there, Clara. I wore this yesterday also. I wore everything that I'm showing you today. Um, I did get different, several different lip colors. And uh, I'm going to show those to you. I only wore one of them, of course. I swatched a couple of them, but I only wore one. And it is so beautiful. Um, it's a lip tint. I don't like, typically I don't like lip tints because to me they always look patchy, at least on my lips, and they are drying. This one did not look patchy. It dried down to a gorgeous color. It really lasted even after I ate and I drank. The middle on my lip, it needed to be reapplied, but the rest of it looked beautiful very easy to reapply it was really the best lip tint that i have ever used and what you see the packaging is so beautiful so let me take a clean brush and blend this a little bit it's a little dark okay i'm going to take the lighter color right here and just do it like on the inside a little bit, just a little bit. Just gonna want to blend that brown a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm going to take this light color right here. And this is the same look I did yesterday. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that same shade and put it on my brow bone. I'm going to blend up there again. Okay, I'm going to take the clean brush and blend. Okay, then I'm going to take the first brush that I used and go back to the dark brown. And this is like a, it's more like a cool brown. It's very pretty. I have no fallout whatsoever. I had no fallout yesterday. Okay, and this one right here is a topper. But let me tell you, this topper did not fall all over my, my face during the day. It stayed in place. And as you can see it, it's just like, um, almost like somebody sprinkled a little bit of fairy dust on your eyes. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take the flat brush, or this little brush right here. I'm going to take the darker brown, put a little bit on my lower lash line. All right, so now I'm going to take a powder, and this is from Sam, the Sam, S-A-E-M. I already own this, and I didn't get another, another powder, but this is a really, it's white, but it really is a translucent powder, and I didn't bring a powder brush, so I'm going to use this one, and I'm just going to pat it on my hand, not to grab a lot. And you can actually use this on your under eye because it is very thin and it really does not dry you out. I don't have a bronzer by them. Um, I actually forgot to get one. I don't wear bronzer all the time so when I went shopping I actually forgot to um, look for a bronzer. And by the way this blush works well underneath and over powder i'll show you i'll add a little bit more it works wonderful over over the powder 
I love the little packaging. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to grab a little more. It does not pull up any of your makeup. And it does not stay sticky. It's almost like it goes from cream to powder. It's really, really nice. Brings a little puff puff, but I don't really use it. Okay, so for mascara, I already had this. This is from Hemish. And this is a Tubi mascara. It's a pretty nice mascara. Look, this is with just a couple of uh, couple of strokes. Let me do two coats and I'll be right back. Okay, so I will zoom you up while I'm editing so that you can see what my makeup really looks like and my um, and what my lashes look like. But I think it does a pretty good job. And it's not hard to remove. Again, it removes with warm water and it's just very easy to do. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything back here except that made in Korea. But it is a nice uh, tube mascara and it's not very expensive. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to leave the one that I used yesterday for the end because I absolutely loved it. So I'm going to show you other products that I purchased. I purchased a total of one, two, three, four, six products for the lips. I'm going to swatch them really quick on my uh, lips and um, so that you can see what it looks like. This one is from judy doll also and it's called the lip jelly and this is number 06 this is the actual packaging super cute as you can see and it's like a squeezy tube and it's got the little um silicone applicator i'll swatch it on my hand and my lips so this is not very pigmented at all you can probably build it up as you can see, it looks a little more pigmented on my hand, but there you go. If I had a lip liner, I would probably build it up a little more, but I don't want to uh, mess all over my face. So again, this is Judy Doll, and this is the Lip Jelly. Lip Jelly number 06. Very pretty. It feels very... It feels like a lip oil almost. Very slippy and um, slippery very light um like a lip oil it feels nice on the lips i have not worn it all day so i don't know what the wear time would be okay the next one that i want to try for you this is similar to all the other ones all the clicky ones like the the tart one and nyx and you know uh elf this is a melting candy balm and this is in the color cranberry whip number 10 and you have to click it up Ah, very soft. I think this is a lot softer than any of the other ones I have tried. This is the color right here. It's very pretty. This one feels more cushiony and like a little thicker on your lips, not in a bad way. It's not sticky. It just feels feels hydrating. The other one did too, but the other one is much thinner. This one, you can see, is a little more, more pigmented. It's very pretty, very comfortable. But definitely, you have to use a lip brush or your finger because I don't think you'll be able to really go around your lip with the applicator. The next one is from Rom And. And this is in the shade moth whip and this is called glasting melting balm so this one is just one that you wind up this one feels very nice feels like a tinted lip balm again it's not sticky it feels like slippery on your lips hydrating I think it's, that's a pretty color. Even without a lip liner, it's a pretty color. It's the kind of thing that I like to wear around the house when I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to mess with a lip liner. Easy to reapply. And it's a beautiful color. It's this one right here. And it's soft, but soft like a tinted lip balm. Not like the other one that kind of like really mushed on my, on my lip. This one is very pretty. I love that shade. Again, this is in the shade Mauve 
with. Okay, this one is the same brand. This one is in the shade Kayak Fig, and it's the same brand, the same kind of, um, of tinted lip balm. I have been loving these kind of lipsticks so much more. I'm going to swatch the other, the other shade next to it so you can see the difference. This one has like a little more peachy. Um, I think it still feels the same way. Moisturizing, hydrating, I'm making a mess trying to stick it back on the, put the lid on it. I'm missing totally. Ugh, getting product everywhere. This is the first one I used. The mauve. And as you can see, the mauve is more pink. And this one is more, it has more of like a peach or an orangey shade to it. But again, it's very pretty and I think it looks pretty without a lip liner. But definitely if you wear a lip liner with it, it's going to really, really, you know, make it a lot nicer, I think. A lip liner is like the icing on the cake, isn't it? Okay, these next ones, the next two are by Judy Doll. And they're called the Watery Lip Gloss. So I didn't know what that was. Um, I got two different shades. And these are the ones that are like a lip tint. This is 04. Very pretty. And the applicator, guys, I've never seen an applicator like this. It's metal. It's a metal applicator. It feels so nice on your lips. It feels nice and cooling. Feels amazing. And then this one is in the shade 06. This one is the one I wore yesterday. And it's so pretty. Okay, this one is more like a brown. This one is more like a rosy color. Same applicator. So I'm going to put this on and then I'll put the lip liner. I'm going to wear this color again because it was so pretty. And it does feel watery when you put it on. You do have to go in several times because this little applicator doesn't hold a lot. But it feels so good on the lips that you don't mind applying more. This is really, really pretty. When this, this stays uh, shiny or glossy for a little bit and then it does dry down to a matte. But it doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel, it doesn't look patchy like a lot. That's why I don't like lip tint. To me, a lot of them feel patchy and, and they just are drying on my lips. These do not and they have a really nice wear time. Okay, I'm gonna use this one by Moira in the shade Superstar, which really probably would have gone more with the other one. I wanna put the other lip tint on top because it would go more with this lip liner than the one I have on. But they are absolutely gorgeous. And the one that is brown comes, look at the packaging, how gorgeous is that? This looks like high end. It is heavy, it feels, every, every product that I have shown you feels substantial. I mean, these feel like regular lip balms. They don't feel like super substantial, but they don't feel cheap. They don't feel like um, wet and wild, okay? These feel really nice and they feel substantial. And the one that is in the rosy color is this one here in the silver. So I'm going to put this one on top. And I'm going to go off screen and let it dry down. And then I'm going to come back so that you can see how it looks like once it dries. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. So I want you to see one more time. I'm going to zoom you up so you can see how pretty it looks shiny. Because I think it's important for you to see that it looks really pretty while it's shiny. And then it just dries down. Super pretty. Okay guys, so this is how it looks when it kind of dries down. It gets a little matter. It's been about five minutes and it still has like a little bit of shine. It does, it does go a little matter, but it looks so beautiful. It does not accentuate the lines on your lips, which I absolutely love. I love the, of a lot of these lip tints do accentuate the lines on my lips when they dry down. I love every single product that I got on here. Even the concealer that I thought it was going to be too light. Everything comes in the little package. Then it came in this huge bubble wrap. 
and then also it came inside a box and the box had a lot of uh, packing paper in it so nothing came damaged i mean i really didn't order anything that was powder except for the eyeshadow but it seemed to me like it was really really well packaged it took about a week and a half for me to receive but it was coming from korea so i can't complain so some of the stuff and it will tell you on there when you order it will tell you if is if it's going to take you like 21 days to get it i try not to get anything like that that it was going to take like three weeks it tells you like um when you go there it tells you four to seven days i guess that's when you can expect for them to ship it or i guess if they don't have it on hand they'll tell you like 21 days i stayed away from those i only picked things that could ship at the same time and everything came together it was free shipping after a certain amount it is a free shipping i do have an affiliate code i don't believe i have a discount code i might i don't know they sent me a couple of emails so it was a little confusing to me but i need to read it again i'm going to link the um the affiliate link below and if i have a code i think it's only like five percent it's not a humongous discount okay but even without a discount i got all of this without a discount and it is amazing and also a stylvana anything you get from stylvana now the, the only thing with i feel with yes style when you're looking at the product it gives you a little more information not a lot but a little more information that stylvana does stylvana really doesn't tell you much about the product that you're ordering now i've had good luck with them too anything that i've ordered from them i really actually loved but just to give you a heads up on that but I really think that their products are beautiful. I think they wear really nice. I think this foundation looks really, really pretty. Um, I've noticed that as I'm getting older, I'm getting a lot more texture on my face. That's life. My pores are craters now, but again, what can I do, right? Uh, that is life. Guess, you know, I'm still not doing too bad for being 68. But anyways, I love this, this, this lipstick, the lipstick, I did have to reapply yesterday, but I felt that it had a nice wear time. The, the rest of my makeup looked just the same at 12 hours later, maybe even a little better. Once my natural oils came in, it looked a little glowier, but it looked beautiful. It, there was, it was not patchy anywhere. It was not worn out anywhere it didn't disappear anywhere my including my eyeshadow everything looked really really nice so the only thing that was not from korea was my eyebrows and that was what did i use for my eyebrows i used a l'oreal the micro pencil and i used this this is a grande brow two in one tinted gel uh, serum and this is in dark brown so that's all i have on my brows everything else on my face oh and except for the lip liner i did not have a lip liner from them and this is from moira and where is this made by the way moira where are you made oh it's made in taiwan so there you go <laughs> all right you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please, even if you don't want to leave a comment, just leave a little heart so that I know that you're there. If you like the video, make sure you give me a like. I love you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.